Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to give you some life hacks on how to make your car's tires last as long as possible. Now the first thing to check, as counterintuitive as it might seem, is your shock absorbers or struts on your car. Go to each corner of the car and push it up and down. Shouldn't bounce much, as you can see. This hardly bounces at all. Both front sides are pretty stiff, and so are the back ones, you can see. It hardly bounces at all, it's nice and stiff. I got some racing ones on this, so it'll be a lot stiffer than most cars. But even on this Matrix with stock struts, you can see it doesn't bounce much. You can also pull off the wheels, and if you see the rod is all coated with oil dripping down, you know the seals are gone, and you need new shocks and struts. Now this is important for your tire life for two reasons. One, as nutty as it sounds, your tires actually absorb a lot of the shock of the car. When you hit bumps, the rubber goes in the air and it absorbs a lot of the shocks. So if your shock absorbers aren't working right, then your tires are going to have to absorb more of the shock and it's going to wear them out faster. And the other reason is because the shock absorbers hold the tires in the correct position while you drive down the road. If your shock absorbers are all worn out, your tires are going to bounce around too much. And guess what? When they bounce around, they're not sitting right, and they'll wear on one edge or the other. So you want to make sure you got good shocks and struts first. Now the next thing to do is to check the suspension itself. Jack the car up, get it so the wheel comes off the ground. Then once it's off the ground, grab it at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock and pull on the tire. It shouldn't have any play. If it has play and goes back and forth, often that's a worn tie rod. You'd have to fix that because if the tie rod's worn, the tire's going to wiggle back and forth too much and it's going to wear out early. Then check it at 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. See if it's got any play there. If it's got play there, then odds are your ball joint's worn. And any front end part that's worn that makes the car sit wrong, and then when you hit bumps or corner, make it wobble, is going to wear your tire out faster. And of course you want to do this checking on all four wheels. And if you find that it has play the whole way around at any angle, that means your wheel bearings worn. And when that's worn, your tire wobbles and it'll wear out faster. Now the next thing to do to make your tires last as long as possible, is to check the tire pressure. Now tire pressure of course is very important for long life of your tire. You want to have the correct pressure at all times. And people always ask me, Scotty, what pressure should I put in my tires? Well, they're always rated, but if you look on your door, there's a suggestion. And the best thing is kind of in between what they say. If it says 30 to 35, 32, 33 is perfectly fine. You don't want to go by the maximum tire pressure allowed on the tire, because the more pressure you put in the tire, the middle will stick out slightly and the middle will wear out. And conversely, if you have low pressure, then the edges will stick out more and the middle will sit in and it'll wear on the edges. So make sure you check your tire pressure every so often. Heck, these gauges only cost a few bucks and you can get a decent air compressor to put in your trunk that plugs in the cigarette lighter for 30 or 40 dollars. Don't depend on the stuff at the gas stations these days. Half the time they don't work and even when they do work, they often give you the wrong pressure. I did that once when I was on vacation in a rental car, and I put what I thought was 32 PSI in it, and it turns out the tire had 52 PSI. <laughs> when I went to a store and actually bought a gauge just to see what it was. Cause in the self-serve age, be ready to serve yourself. Prepare yourself with a little pump in the trunk and a good gauge that you can just stick in the glove box. And when you do check the tire pressure, do it first thing in the morning when it's cold. Because guess what? You drive down the road, touch your tires after you take a trip. They get pretty warm. That increases the pressure. You get a false reading. You want to do it when the tires are cold first thing in the morning. Another reason you want a good gauge and a pump yourself, because by the time you drive to a gas station, the tires are already heated up and you'll get a false high reading. Now the next thing to do to make your tires last as long as possible is drive them quite a bit. I know it sounds crazy, but if you don't use tires, they sit and they dry rot. If you've got older tires on your car, say they're five, six, seven years or older, and you see a bunch of cracks on them, 
hey, it's time for new tires. They're not safe anymore. They do rot when you don't use them. So in the case of if you don't use it, you lose it. That's really true about tires. I remember years ago, my wife had a Toyota Cressida. I bought it used. They had all cracks in them, even though 90% of the tread was still there. I measured my tread gauge, and it's still at 90% of the tread, but they were no good anymore because they had rotted. So in the case of tires, you're better off using them all the time. Don't save them up because if you don't use them much, they're going to dry rot anyways, and you're going to have to get new tires. With all my tires and all my cars, I end up replacing them. Oh, usually they still got 60, 70 percent of the tread left, but they're all cracking. But here's a warning. If you think you're going to stop the cracks, guys who put that tire dressing on to make them look shiny and stuff, it really doesn't fix your problem at all. Because the tread itself, the part you're driving on, that's still going to crack. You can't spray all that stuff on the tread, because if you do, that stuff is really slippery and it'll make your tires dangerous. When I was younger, I was dumb enough to try that one time on a motorcycle. And if you notice on the motorcycle, the tread goes a long way to the side. I got it too far on the side, and when I cornered, it started to slide, and I almost lost it. And many cars have pretty wide treads on them these days. You don't want to put that tire dressing on them, make them slippery. You're not going to handle as well, or even break as well, if you get some on the tread itself. So although spraying that stuff on the tires makes them look shiny and everything, it doesn't make them last longer, and it actually makes them slightly more dangerous if you're a fast driver and corner fast a lot. And now you know some hacks to keep your tires lasting as long as possible. Stuff you can do yourself. Tires aren't cheap. You want them to last as long as they possibly can, and now you know how to do it yourself. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.